Hey guys, Umar here for Architecture Daily Sketches. And I know it's been a really long time, guys. We apologize, but we're back. And we have a new video on sketching stairs in 3D. So first, I'm going to show the two types of staircases that I'll be showing in this video, which is a dog leg staircase, which is a very common type of staircases that we often see in buildings, and a tricky one, the spiral staircase. Now for both types of staircases, we'll be using the same technique, but it's going to be, uh, there's a slight tweak to the technique when it comes to drawing the spiral staircase, because the dog leg is very planar in nature and the spiral staircase is curvaceous. Now there are three rules of thumb when drawing staircases in sketch form. First, you delineate the box that the staircase would occupy in space. And then you try and identify the planes of the staircase and just outline it within the box. Just identifying the abstracted simple form of the staircase. In this case, uh, this is a small diagram of the dog leg staircase. And finally, add details. So just these three rules of thumb for the technique. Identifying the box, then drawing out the planes, and adding details. So first, the dog leg staircase. I'll be drawing this in perspective, so I'll be drawing the horizon line where the vanishing point is going to be. And from the vanishing point, we're going to pull a few perspective lines. And from there, I'm going to place the box within the perspective lines. That will be uh, my guide. And now I'm trying to identify the planes of the staircase within the box. It's helpful to use the vanishing point and the perspective lines as guides for determining where the points of, e of the planes are. You see I've identified one flight and now I'm identifying the other flight. So now we have the basic form of the staircase and after which we can start adding details on it like the tread and risers and also maybe adding thickness to the slabs to to make it look a bit more realistic Now there are proper ways to divide the flight so that you get an even distribution of steps but for this one I'm simply eyeballing it and just sort of roughly putting in the the height of the risers because this is uh, only a simple sketch. Now I'm adding another detail, maybe just some simple railings. And there you have the dog leg staircase. Okay, so now we're gonna try and attempt the tricky one, the spiral staircase. 
now it's the same method but there is a slight tweak to it in that we have to divide the box that the space of the staircase occupies into four quadrants both in plan and also vertically you'll, you'll see in a minute we have to do this division of the box into quadrants uh, to take into account the fact that the, the spiral staircase is like a series of curved planes it's not a series of straight planes like in the dog leg so again I'm pulling the perspective line from the vanishing point just to roughly determine where the box of the spiral staircase is going to occupy Okay, so this is where it comes in where we have to divide the box into four quadrants both in plan and vertically. You can determine the center of the spiral staircase by drawing an X from the edges. Uh, the center is also going to be the vertical support of the spiral staircase and from there you can divide into the quadrants it's also helpful to draw out the plan of the spiral staircase at the bottom of the box because then we can mark out the steps in plan and then you can pull the mark up to sort of extrude the shape into the 3D and also you have to divide the, the box vertically as well into four quadrants so you see it's in plan there's four in the plan and then four vertically as well The reason why you do this is because when you break it into four quadrants, each of the curves for each quadrant is easier to determine. You can follow the height and then you can just sort of roughly eyeball it out so that you get the outline of the curved plane. It may not be accurate the first couple of times you try it, but trust me, with practice, you'll get used to it, you get the hang of it, and then uh, it becomes easier. You can imagine from the plan, if you extrude it up, it's like a solid cylinder and when you're marking out the curve of the plane, it's like you're carving into the cylinder. So now you have the outline of the plane of the spiral staircase. And now you can start to mark out the steps. And the way you do this is just by pulling up lines from the plan and see where it intersects and from that intersected point you can also pull lines towards the center and then you can start to see the form of your spiral staircase coming to life So basically it was the same technique as before we've identified the box and then we drew out the plane and now we're just adding up and fleshing out the details for the railings you just follow the same curve of the plane of the spiral staircase but just extrude it up a little bit so I'm just adding a human figure for scale
And for final detailing, I'm just going to ink it out. So there you have it guys, uh, sketch staircases in 3D. Uh, before I end this video, we'd like to thank Arch Daily for the article about us. Thank you so much. Now if you like this video, please thumbs it up and share it with your friends. You can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, the links are below. If you're new here, please subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching.